Trolls. Uh, when Witch King dies, it's gonna be quite painful. A crazy amount of damage. Hello, my friends of Middle Earth, and I know it's been a while, but I come back to you now at the turn of the tide on a beautiful map, Force of Eisen. We're gonna cast a 1v1 replay between good and evil. We have Mordor versus Gondor. And I think they know the matchup. And when you know the matchup, when you know that you are playing Gondor against Mordor, you can open with double farm. And it's a very good and new strategy. So he's rushing three farms and recruiting Hobbit and sending Hobbit to this location. In the meantime, the soldiers are going to move through the bottom side. I missed you guys. I missed you, really. It's been a really long time since I actually made a video the last time. And hopefully you guys didn't forget about me. And I will definitely keep trying my best to, you know, deliver you as much content, great content, as possible. And also, quick information, the BFME 1 2.22 launcher is now finally all three games included. So you can download with it from it BFME 1, as you used to, but also now BFME 2 and Rise of Twitch King. Okay, so it's going to be 3 versus 2 situation. Gollum is surprisingly tanky. And he's also sending some lumber mill workers to repair the structure. That's very important and very smart. This structure is completely tanky compared to this structure. And you can also use your workers to repair this, which makes it kind of difficult to be taken down. Kind of make sure that Mordor can have a good early game. Of course, you sacrifice a bit of your eco. And also the wood bonus. Remember, each of these lumber mills, if you have at least two, will give you the wood bonus, reducing the cost of your structures. But unfortunately for Mordor, it won't be the case. So he's using the Eye of Sauron. Uh, Gondor went for the hill. And with the help of Gollum, of course, and the Oryx buff with the Eye of Sauron, the Oryx will be able to defend this no problemo. But having this three farm opening will make sure that Gondor will have a very early stable upon the field. And also a very smart move here from Rangel, sending some workers behind the enemy castle to get some vision control. Indeed, that's the vision control of the Mora player. The workers, they don't grant you too much vision control, but it's still, you know, great to see what your opponent is up to. The downside of going for multiple farm opening, though, is it will delay your barracks, I mean, not barracks, the blacksmith to hit level 2, which is the minimum requirement for you to be able to purchase any of these three upgrades, okay? So he won't be able to do this anytime soon, but usually when you go for the start, you don't want to go for the upgrades anyway, you want to rush actually again after white. For that reason, going for the heal at the beginning of the game is quite recommended, because heal is recommend, uh, required, uh, you know, you then need two power points after that one to get to unlock the gun of the white power point from your spellbook. Gollum, what are you doing, bro? Uh, Gollum! Smeagol! Oh, they have mercy, they have mercy! But Gollum is running it down. Oh, he's gonna get trampled into the next dimension. But we know, Gollum is a creature who likes to come back, you know? likes to come back we have the new farm easy okay so as expected um the gunner soldier i mean the gunner knight first of them is going to be used to destroy every settlement in the meantime mordor was able to creep this location that's pretty good mordor as mordor you want to get to industry power spike as soon as you potentially can and for that reason creeping is very important okay and he has also the Haradrim Palace level 3, a level 2, I mean, it will give him the option to recruit the soldiers of Rune, which are pretty much like a pikeman, and that can give you the chance to kind of counter the enemy Gondonites without having to go for the troll cage. So, Mordor is the best faction when it comes to counter horses. Remember, you have trolls which can smash the horses, you have runes that are pretty much as strong as the Isengard pikeman, and later on, you have two Nazgûls and a Witch King, which are pretty much undealable for the. Uh oh uh oh be careful oh nice micro from gondor player very well done but he got a bail does he have heal he has heal but it's still wrong to commit to this location this structure will be taken down for sure he has the hobbit inside of it which is pretty decent but the orcs buffed with the eye of sauron are dealing great amount of damage to the citadel and not a single unit will make it out of these two uh, production buildings the runes will take care of this statue and if you don't demolish it in time, it will give a lot of power points. And look, they will hit level 2 after that, maybe almost level 3. 
because these structures will give a lot of experience watch this boom entire level just taken easily a bit will be taken down and it's like over a thousand and he will lose a whole battalion by riding into the two that's so bad actually from condor he lost like money in worth of 2000 resources from this outpost all alone and for that reason if you can't if you are not sure if you can protect the outpost or not it's not recommended to take the outpost okay but he has um still good eco however mordor is taking over the map and he doesn't even take care of this uh, treasure on the ground the outpost will be taken down the black orcs level 2 are stronger than soldiers without upgrades and he's again riding it down with the gunner knights he's trying his best to protect this outpost but there are still some rune soldiers however there is an archer unit that can keep shooting from long range and once the runes are gone the knights can clear up everything but that's not even needed and he will actually be able to protect the outpost so now repairing this outpost will cost you only 500 um, it's cheaper than you know rebuilding it entirely but it's gonna take you some time you know in the meantime Mordor was able to get this outpost and the runes are creeping surprisingly a lot so Gondor was kind of committing fully to this outpost and not really creeping and that's also a very questionable move to go for the great company um, because he doesn't have the barracks uh, the blacksmith level 2 just yet but it's about to be changed he's going for the level 2 Mordor's eco should be quite decent he has industry now he has even almost two power points collected on top of that and he will have very soon the second troll up on the field so the great company it might be a little bit too late for this one but he might be able to catch this troll the troll is running though look the orcs and that's the power of the troll right and now we can go to this location and say looks like meat's back on the menu boys mm, delicious delicious troll likes those orcs the tasty orcs and that comes the first rush with two gunner knights with shields and swords and he's committing directly to the to, to the troll cage but smart move from rangel always making sure that at least one rune soldier is inside the castle and it's a very valuable structure i mean losing the structure before it hits level two will cost you lots of momentum right each troll will require 30 seconds recruit time so you need four of them which means two minutes the troll cage itself will need 30 seconds to be built up so two and a half minutes before you can get it to level two again to recruit the drama troll drama troll is the most important leadership for the mortal faction it will make your troll stronger it will make your orc stronger it will make your combo stronger so it's the most reliable uh, form of leadership okay orcs they, they are chilling archer range level one i'm not a big fan of building archer range over here um i mean i would build it over here but i would also have like a primary one in my castle because it's a very valuable structure production buildings generally speaking are very important especially those with a skilling remember the archer range from gondor has to be level two for the fire upgrade and also for the rangers so you losing this a second time will hurt you quite a bit the gondor knights are committing to the outpost the citadel is quite tanky against horse damage um and the uh, haradrims on top of that are dealing constant damage and it's also you see the structures around the outpost are blocking the entrance so now with the second knight he will be able to take it down but the runes are coming i is on cooldown okay that, that's good that's good but he won't be able to destroy the outpost with the runes being around in the meantime the drummer troll has the roar ability but remember it will affect only level one and level two units however i mean this could be affected but the gonna player was paying attention the drama troll is very weak in terms of armor so for that reason i always recommend players to go at least for a second drama troll like rangel does now so they can give leadership to each other the leadership it's not about the damage but it's more about the armor to make the second drama troll a bit tankier so the commitment now archer range level 2 fire purchased the orcs will get demolished by the gondor knights no problemo the drama troll will get fired a bit and again no backup for the drama troll the trolls are coming there comes the roar but again level 3 will be unaffected from the fear and the drama troll pressing the s button and getting in safety mordor is surprisingly a great, great amount of lead, uh, map control multiple level 2 slaughterhouses with the new animation industry being used on, on the one of them for a boost of 300 percent more resources and now at this point it would be just a better choice to save up for the witch king to get 
uh, even greater amount of leadership. So now, in an all-out fight, Mordor will win because we have no Boromir, which can give you damage leadership. We have only the statue for additional DPS, but what you can do is you can split up your ranges a bit. Rangers, if you put them near to the forest, they will have the camouflage, so pretty much they will become invisible from a long distance. And you can put one here, one here, one here, for example, and if the trolls engage, they will have to run into different directions. Trolls liked, like clumped army. So if you are into one location, if your army is here, your entire army, trolls with trees will smash everything. For that reason, when you play against Mordor, and he has plenty of trolls, it's always better to split up your army a little bit to kind of make sure that, you know, you can get the best out of your army. I mean, he has rocks in his hands. Look at these trolls, man. They look dangerous to me. You know, I would run. I would run for my life. And there's also six power points almost in the bank. He needs one power point more after six. He needs seven in total to unlock the darkness. So that's the strongest form of Mordor. Darkness, Drummer Troll, Eye of Sauron, and Witch King. And in the patch 2.2 also, the length will affect the trolls. So they will even get additional armor, which will make them tankier. So with Witch King coming and with the eye and drummer the trolls have enough damage trust me that one they can one shot everything now it's only about their armor when you don't want them to automatically attack with the rocks you can always use all ground stands then they will not shoot automatically which is kind of like a good threat to make sure that you can manually choose your target trolls with the rocks in their hands are actually very surprisingly strong versus heroes they can one shot kind of do not come between Nazgul and Spray, ladies and gentlemen. There comes the ruler of the Nine. Minas Morgul is his homeland. And the outpost will be slaughtered. Now, this army has the potential to go even for the Castle of Gondor. The Castle of Gondor, quite vulnerable at this point of the game, but he is going for the base street. Now, without any defense, this army is definitely capable of destroying this castle, but it will take you a long time because you lack of damage leadership. He went only for Faramir, but Boromir, even now, at this stage of the game, is going to be very important because Boromir is a natural counter to the trolls. Boromir can knock them down. Yes, he won't be able to deal too much damage to the trolls with this much leadership, but you can disable them, which will buy your rangers enough time to kill them. I would commit to this location with my darkness at this point. Really, I would just YOLO it. And this is like the entire wind condition of Gondor. If you can destroy this outpost, you will get the entire map. The Gondonites can't do anything anymore as long as Witch King is up on the field. And Witch King can just fish power points for Mordor to get to unlock the almighty ancient summon, the Balrog of Morgoth, who let the trolls out. The problem with the trolls is they are way faster than the drama trolls, so you need to make sure that drama is always nearby before going for all-out fight. He has also darkness now, which again means more DPS, more experience and more armor. All of that great stuff for the trolls. It will last for 2 minutes and 40 seconds, which is a long time in an RTS game. And there comes the commitment. The Gondonites are the main damage dealers to the structures. The fire rolls not that much, even though slaughterhouse are quite vulnerable with level 1. But the Gondonites are smashing structures, as you can see and tell. So now the drummers will be sent forward first. Darkness, drummer is quite tanky, but one of them has been taken down. The witch king has to be careful. The trolls, uh, he's focusing on the drummer troll. Very smart, very smart, very smart. But the trolls are smashing everything to the ground. Look at them. They are glowing, shining, bright like a diamond. Do not come between the trolls and their feast, okay? They will now commit. Comet, guys, look at the glow. Witch King has to come. Where is Witch King? Is Witch King dead? No, Witch King is somewhere around. I don't know where Witch King actually is, but now he's coming to the outpost. Again, the drama troll is far away. The Witch King is... I don't know. Oh, the Eagles have been special summoned, I think, to kill the Witch King. Witch King has been killed, right? Yeah, Witch King has been killed. That's very unfortunate. That's a very important leadership. Only one drama troll remaining. Trolls are committing. They know they don't have other choice. All you need to do is kill the drama troll. The Eagles are chilling, though. They don't do anything. And the Eagles, they have, like, no more time left. The smart move splitting up because Eagles deal splash damage. And the trolls will be perfectly safe. The Witch King was able to beat them. There comes the Elvin Wood to cover the Tainted Land. 
and Inner 3 will be used once again to get this Slaughterhouse to level 3. Witch King will be revived for free, but it's gonna take you 4 minutes. It's a very long revive time, that's why it's not very good to lose your hero like that. In the meantime, Orcs are taking over the map, slowly but surely. The Orc Pit here doing a great work for Mordor. Map control is the key to victory, which is the reason why Gondor is not very rich yet. He has not even Boromir and not even close to get Gandalf on the field yet, okay? The Elvin Woods will make this ranges quite tanky, but ranges, generally speaking, are very vulnerable against damage, just like Drummer Trolls and Trolls are. And even Towers will take them down quite fast. Look. But he's demolishing everything. Catapults are, of course, a great counter to the ranges. It will one shot them, basically. So archers they will die to one shot if they have not Farami leadership. So Farami leadership plus Elvin Wood or Farami leadership plus Gandalf can make sure that they can take at least two shots, but two shots will still be able to kill them. But without this, one catapult shot is all it takes. One shot right in the middle, you can kill all of this army with one single hit. Don't lose your um, Citadel, you know, the Baradur is very important for the Witch King. It will just delay everything. He's splitting up his army. That's very smart. He has also backup army over here running into different directions, pressing the X button on his keyboard, which is like an automa automated thing. The forest, again, making them invincible. Uh, in not invincible, invisible. That's the word I was searching for. For my excuse, I didn't speak any word English since the last video I made on the YouTube channel. So excuse me on that one. The one catapult is on the field. Catapult is quite tanky against fire arrows. But Faramir's warning arrow can actually still kill it. Uh, you know, some arrows or some abilities from heroes are very good against catapults, shooting his own unit. The trolls are going wild. The drama troll has to keep walking with them. The radius is not that big, so you gotta keep walking. In a dream world, you wanna send your drama trolls into, into the middle first. And as the drama trolls are appearing to the enemy army, your trolls keep charging. You see? The army has been slaughtered. Now we have 5 power points collected for Mordor and 3 power points collected for Gondor. Gondor has 3.5 thousand resources in the bank. He has a great amount of map control, abusing the fact that Witch King has been slain, getting the entire map outpost control once again uh, captured by Gondor. He has pretty much every single settlement beside this one at the bottom right, but that's also eventually about to be changed. He's investing all his money to make an army of the Gondor Rangers, and that's what you can do against Mordor. You don't need combos against Mordor. Combos are only good against other combos, right? And right, or against horses. But that's not being the case right now in the case of Mordor. Combos are actually very bad against Mordor, unless you are Isengard. Even as Isengard, it, it's better to make only crossbowmen and it's not combining them with Uruks. And here is the reason why: combos are in compare uh, compared to the archers slower. And they also can't use formations. For example, these rangers have the skirmish formation. I can show you on this one, for example. No, that's, they have all the skirmish formation, this one. Which gives them more damage. But combos use the ability to switch formations. Against trolls, you want to get the maximum damage and you want to be mobile, right? And if you have combos, you are not mobile. It's like a bigger hit. Uh, you have like more hit range. And the trolls can smash you way faster. And this way, you have also more you know, army which can deal damage. While combos with soldiers in the front are only there to take the damage, right? They don't deal damage, you see the one shot. If you hit one shot, one opportunity. It's raining fire, boys. These catapults can farm so many power points for you, holy. But you wanna aim the right target. You wanna aim manually, right? You don't wanna do, let them do the job. You wanna attack one here, one here, one here, for example. Okay. Witch King is back in business. Again, that's going to be changing a little bit about the map control. Hopefully, uh, there is a level 2 slaughterhouse powering up. And Witch King uh, Eagles will be special summoned. Eagles cooldown is 6 minutes 30 seconds. Oh, but they are hurting the Witch King so much. And there is nothing that can shoot. He's charging very smart. When you charge, you are faster. Uh, when Witch King dies, it's going to be quite painful. Okay, one eagle is down, and the second eagle is down. You see the one archer, and also the structures are shooting, obviously. That's pretty decent. Um, it looks like they're healing from this much leadership. Remember, they have darkness too, which is not active right now. He went also for the devastation, which will kind of be like a double-edged sword. Devastation helps you in this current situation, but it will slow down 
your progress to reach to the Balrog, the ultimate summon. But Balrog is not game winning if you have no outpost control. In a dream world, what Mordor has to do is make like four combos, right? You make four combos. Combos are good against archers. So, because orcs in the front can absorb damage while your orc archers can demolish the rangers. And if the knights will try to appear, that is Ganoff, by the way. If the knights will try to appear or Ganoff try to appear, then you can use your trolls to protect your combos. And while your combos are fighting, your catapults can demolish. But he's camping at this point, right? It's it's difficult now with Ganoff being around and Witch King being low. So Witch King has to be 100% HP to be able to fight against Ganoff. But then you also need to make sure to dodge, to dodge the Lightning Sword. All right, so he has also Archer inside this outpost. He has not been recruiting Boromir a single time, going now for the workshop himself, no marketplace either. Marketplace is a great investment into the late game, but at this point, it, even though it looks like he doesn't need the money, but it's, you know, you can't have too much money. He's gonna use the Screech, which again of us too far away from the Rangers to give the resistance to fear. Level 5 Gondonite will be taken down. Catapult being targeted from many, many, many at the same time. The great company is drawing the swords. What is the Witch King doing? Witch King is running it down. Bad Tainted Land. Gondor can cover this. Should be covering this, but he doesn't cover this. And the trolls are smashing everything. You gotta cover this. It's a little bit too late, but it's better late than never. Um, now the trolls have no leadership. Again, in the patch 2.22, the trolls are affected by the Alvinwood slash Tainted Land in the original version of the EA games for whatever reason trolls were unaffected but now they are okay which means Mordor has to be a bit more careful about using the tainted land when you know the enemy has to counter to this Ganoff will use the easter light just before the troll was able to eat even if the troll eat doesn't change anything easter light is able to 100 to 0 a troll he is a hero for 6000 the best hero in the game Okay, I mean, he's spamming more rangers. That's the equal advantage over there, right? That's the equal advantage. Mordor struggling. He needs like this two power points. You use it frequently every time in four minutes here, in four minutes here, and uh, to be able to sustain the in the units because trolls are very expensive. They cost 900. Drama troll cost 975. Catapults cost 900 too. So that's a lot of money you need to invest. And, you know, combos, of course, 250 for the Orc Arches, Fire Rose will cost a lot. So long terms, it's difficult. 10 power points for Mordor and almost 6 power points for Gondor. Again, AOD is the game winning option here. AOD and Balrog, they are game winning if you have the map control, right? If you can use it for the winning move. Um, Mordor can do a crazy amount of damage. Beautiful blast from Ganoff coming in clutch, almost level 6. Great trample, combos very vulnerable against trample from horses. That's why the trolls have to be, ne have to be nearby. Eye doesn't really do much, it only gives you damage. Catapults are hitting like a truck. Um, nice micro with the catapults, I like it. You see, the ranges they can't. When Mordor is camping, it's difficult to break through that. Um, but he's getting power points. Every time he pushes, it's good for you know for him because he can get power points from it. In the meantime, orcs are taking care of the map control a little bit. Um, the reason why Mordor's Balrog can be actually more devastating than Isengard's Balrog is because in the very late game, Mordor has the option to have three flying heroes, like two Nazgûls and a Witch King. What you can do is you can use Balrog over here. You fly inside the base and. Balrog can't finish the entire base by himself. But with the help of the three flying heroes, he definitely can. So what you can, what you need to do is you wanna use breath fire like this, right? When you destroy the citadel and you breath fire like this, you can destroy all these five buildings with one single shot. So you have only one production building. So then you choose this side, for example, you one shot this one, you one shot this one with the ignite and out attack, then you prepare your breath fire here your second breath fire and in the meantime your Nazgûls and Witch King focus the only production building which is available inside the base of Gondor and if you damage a little bit with the Nazgûl and the Witch King the breath fire from Balrog is able to one shot it then you can destroy the castle but because Gondor has outpost control he won't be defeated out of that right and he will have also enough money eventually uh, with the marketplace 
eagle summon eagle summon just to kill the catapults you see that's how much pressure the catapults are look they don't even die to the blast of Ganoff. they don't even die now they can turn and kill him but all the catapults are gone witch king is back in the on the menu trolls again that's the elvin rule from your opponent i don't know about that one that's a big fight almost nine power points almost 10 power points ganoff is coming in clutch but i don't know what ganoff is doing over there the drama troll is taking a lot of unnecessary damage while you are on the alvin wood trolls can't approach use your combos to kill everything use eye of sauron you can you can win this fight trust me that one the people are underestimating the mortal combos i know it's two against 20 but maybe he's waiting for the darkness maybe that's what it is but there comes the eod summon and yeah eod will be the Gaming move again all your army located into one location what can men do against such a reckless seat and just like in the films boys just like in the films gondor is able to destroy mordor mordor will be a goners eod dealing no damage to the structures obviously you see if he didn't go for this one he would have 18 power points by now oh which king which king is gonna get in safety and he would be very close to the to the balrog and you also want to keep spamming oryx you know because as you lose oryx you gain power points so you need outpost control holding until the very end good play well played from both the players actually mordor was holding it as long as he can it's just difficult to deal with like this ranger army i think he needed combos a little bit earlier the Witch King is falling down and the Rangel, the Mora player, has been defeated. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did and if you missed me, make sure to smash the like button on this video. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep eating like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.